addressing a topic that's of concern to quite a few moms who have um, been through the tongue tie release with their children or with their infant and still not gotten the results that they were looking for. A lot of times the mom will present expressing symptoms in a tongue tie release and with the release are fixed or gotten rid of very easily. For other children, not so much. Several years ago, I wrote an article called, Is Your Baby a Tether Flow or Tether Berg? And that article addressed the nervous system of the child. And it kind of introduced the concept of um, the regulation of the nervous system, getting a child out of fight or flight and into a state of relaxation. And body work is now the um, sort of a, a leg of treatment, a standard leg presented thanks to some of the pioneers in tongue tie and a very integral part. Even though a mom has had a release and she's done the body work as prescribed by the practitioner, sometimes things remain. And it's very important to make sure you're working with practitioners who understand um, the impact of diet and also environment on the child as well. One of the things that we're learning more and more is that um, things like gut dysbiosis and leaky gut and gut permeability really impact the behavior and also the happiness of a child. So those are important to address. Um, and then also in the next video, we're gonna be talking about electromagnetic frequencies and other environmental insults to children um, that are having a huge impact on the nervous system as well. Basically just evaluating in a detective kind of way what else might be going on with a child is a very important question to ask when as a mom you're not getting the results that you thought you were going to get after a tongue tie release. Most of the time babies are getting the best release possible, they're getting the best body work possible, they're getting as much result as they can get with those modalities. And then in subsequent videos, we're going to be addressing what else could possibly be going on and ways that moms might be able to address those issues. So we've talked about what else could be happening and to the mom who says, I did everything right, but we're still having issues. So stay tuned for the next video on electromagnetic frequencies.